Hi, my name is Taylor Rossi. I am a photographer here in Boston, and I am super excited to be here today at Virtuosity Musical Instruments, talking to you about the best tips, tricks, and hacks for photos as musicians. So when you're first figuring out what you need to do in your photos, there's a couple things that are going to help figure out that process and take any nerves away that you might have because you're unsure of what that process looks like. Your photographer should have a lot of that information, but I want to provide some of that for you so that it clears up any mysteries that might be going on. The first one is figuring out what time of day you want to have your session. Golden hour is a term you might have heard before. That's usually in the morning around 6 to 7 a.m. depending on the time of year or in the evening, same time, 6 to 7 p.m. If you are not a morning person, do not sign up for a morning session. There is a beautiful golden hour that happens later in the day that is absolutely an option. If you do like waking up really early, there is a beautiful time of day for that. And it can be really nice because most people aren't awake at that time and you might have some more privacy, especially if you're doing photos outside in a typically populated area. The next thing that you wanna think about is what you want your outfit to look like. In terms of patterns versus solids versus prints, I always, always encourage people to wear solid colors. You can even see that I'm wearing that now. That's because any kind of textures that'll be in the background, so it might be leaves or even the texture that's on cement or brick is creating a bit of a distraction already and you don't wanna have too much going on in your photos. You wanna be the focus of your photos, taking away any kind of distractions possible. So having a solid color I even recommend if you're wearing something like this where you have a jacket or a sweater on top, making both of them solid colors. The way that you can add some variety and a little um, glam to your photos is through jewelry or the way you style your hair, or you could add one little fun element. So maybe it's you have really colorful shoes or you could have a pattern on your shoes, something like that where it's not the entire outfit, it's just a small part of it. You also wanna make sure that you feel really comfortable in what you're wearing. So making sure that you're trying on all of your outfits beforehand, making sure that nothing is see-through or if there's any straps that are gonna be really finicky, you wanna make sure that everything is really comfortable feeling, nothing is going to be bothering you during your session. I'm one of those people that also needs to cut the tags off the backs of shirts because it might be super itchy. So just making sure that you're trying things on, it feels comfortable, that you can move around in it in a comfortable way too. So it's not causing any sort of distraction or making you nervous during your session. Depending on how much time you have for photos, I always encourage you to have more than one outfit. That could be something simple like adding a jacket on top of something or a sweater or just a little accessory to add some variety. But if you have more time in your day, having a total outfit change can be really helpful. One, to increase the time that you're using your photos for. Instead of sharing the same photos over and over and over again with that same outfit, having another outfit can make it seem like you've taken multiple photo shoots when you've actually just taken one and had an outfit change. I've also had the experience where I thought for my own photos that this one outfit was going to be excellent, it was going to be so good, and then I wound up loving the other outfit more. So you just never know how things are going to convey in your photos. So having that other option can be really helpful. Depending on the relationship you have with your photographer, asking them for their opinion can be really helpful too, just to get a second eye and seeing how they think it's going to photograph. For a lot of people, having their photos taken, especially for the first time, can be a really nerve wracking experience and you wanna feel as comfortable as possible. Your photographer should hopefully help with that process, but there are some things that you can do to make sure that your experience is a really positive one. I think just knowing that it might be something that feels really vulnerable and knowing that that's a possibility is helpful. Also knowing that you might feel really sweaty before and that's okay, everyone experiences that and there's nothing wrong with that. First of all, thank you Photoshop for existing, but also knowing that um, hydrating before a lot, taking some time in the morning or before your session to just feel really calm can be really helpful. I also like to spend some time stretching before because Many of us sit at a desk all day or we're just commuting and so our posture can be really hunched over or just really tight. So I'm a big fan of yoga and do a lot of that. You can also, right before your session, do things like just doing some shoulder rolls, opening up here, um, taking some time to elongate is really helpful. Most things that I see for people in their photos when they're having them done the first time is a lot of 
kind of slightly hunched over, their neck might not be as long, they're a little bit short in their hips. So just taking a moment to think really tall, um, pretend like you're a dancer, you know, adding a lot of height, taking up a lot of space, this is your moment. So thinking really tall coming out of your hips, adding some length to your neck, opening up your shoulders is going to add a lot more presence to your photos and feel less intimidating. If you're looking to level up your photos and have poses that are more memorable, we actually have another video that is the three levels of photography for musicians and you can find that right here. So to recap, here are some of my favorite tips that you can apply to your upcoming photo shoot. Picking out all of your clothes before, making sure that they fit well, setting them out the night before, making sure that they're ironed and there's no you know, wrinkles or anything like that in it, making sure that you know where the location is that you're going to and leaving early enough so that you don't run into traffic and you get there and you're overwhelmed and sweaty and all those things. So having that really clear, also making sure that you are clearly communicating with your photographer to know what you need to have with you and what is not necessary. And last but not least, wipe off your instrument, making sure that there's no fingerprints, making sure that everything is nice and clean. If you have time, bring your instrument to a music shop like Virtuosity to make sure that there's no dents or scratches or anything like that so that it is in pristine condition for your photos and you don't have to worry about anything looking off. If you have any questions or tips of your own that you'd like to share from your own photography experiences, feel free to leave them below. We would love to hear them. We hope these tips make your experience a lot more fun and enjoyable and have a great time with your photo sessions. is already creating some sort of um okay okay <laughs> i will not do that <laughs> do the hustle. <laughs> tips tricks and hacks for instruments ah not instruments <sighs> is it this way it here. Should, yeah, yeah, yeah. was it this okay yeah you don't you don't have to say question I don't have well, to do that. Some people may even be on their phones too. Tips, tricks, yeah, yeah, hacks. Boom. Great offer. Get jiggy with it. Too. Tips, tricks. <laughs> Am I uh, in the right place? No, I'm definitely not. It was a tiny bit backwards. Oh. Nice. And then Sam adjusted the.